What is that, my buttery biscuits? Y'all, I have a very fun, exciting video today. I'm like super excited to do this actually because it's been a hot minute since I tried out new products on my channel. As you guys know, I always do my makeup drops or the bops or flops and my anti hauls every month. And there's a couple products in here that I did talk about. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna pick them up and I'm actually gonna try it all together. I was gonna do like individual reviews of these products, but then I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and try it all within one video because I feel like not too many people are interested in reviews these days. But since I have a bunch of new products, I'm like, oh, maybe that'll be better. So within today's video, we're gonna be trying out the brand new makeup by Mario Foundation, which I have heard nothing but amazing things about this, but I have heard before that it's not good with oily skin. As you guys know, I'm only oily in the T-zone. The rest of my face is actually pretty normal. And then I did talk about this product before. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Healthy Glow SPF 30. This is a moisturizing tint, but I do have to say from the swatch that I swatched inside Sephora, I was like, you know what? This kind of looks like a medium coverage foundation, and it does say that it is buildable, so I'm going to be trying that out. Also, too, I literally just took this out of the box. I'm too lazy to get up and get the box, but this is the Hourglass Concealer right here. I have heard nothing but amazing things about this this is a pretty pricey one but i was like you know what let me give it a shot because y'all know that i'm just obsessed with this hourglass veil translucent powder it's literally been my jam for like the past six months now and i'm so obsessed with it and then also too just because i wanted to try new things you know i was like you know what let me try this born this way ethereal light illuminating smoothing concealer i've never tried a Too faced concealer before so i'm like you know what let me give this a shot uh, before we get into this video though we actually do have a sponsor so a quick word from them a huge thank you to our sponsor audible i'm sure you've heard of audible before, but just in case you haven't, let me tell you about them. Audible is the home of storytelling. They offer an incredible selection of audiobooks from all different types of genres, from celebrity memoirs to bestsellers to mysteries to thrillers and wellness. And being that it is Mental Health Awareness Month, Audible is helping me step up my mental health game big time. Ironically, I like the most perfect time of need because over the past few weeks, I've been stuck in this like unmotivated rut where I don't want to do anything, don't want to go anywhere, don't want to try anything new. And I'm just like, you know what? I need to snap out of it. And being able to actually listen to a book on Audible makes it so easy for somebody like me. As I've mentioned to you guys before, I struggle with reading only because I'll read something and it goes into my brain and out to my brain but being able to actually listen to a book really resonates with me and really helps me as I've mentioned to you guys before I've been into Jen Sincero's book you are a badass well recently I've been into the book you are a badass every day this book right here has really snapped me out of it like I'm telling you guys like I literally will listen to it and I'll be like okay you can do this you got this try this don't procrastinate and get on top of it also what I love about this book is there are so many positive affirmations that I repeat back to myself to help with my mental health if you guys are like me and have this voice inside your head that's like literally sitting there telling you that you can't do this and you can't do that. Jen Sincero's books are for you. What I love about them so much is she's so relatable, so humble, so like down to earth and you feel like you're listening to a friend tell you how it is and getting you to snap out of it and that's what I love about listening to her books on Audible. Also what I love about her books is she's really teaching me that if you surround yourself with negativity you're going to attract negativity. Also if your mind is like filled with chaos then your life is going to be chaos and I feel like she's really teaching me some big time crucial life lessons. What's also awesome about Audible is they offer an incredible selection of podcasts. As you guys know, I love to listen to my podcasts on Audible. I listen to my Shane Dawson podcast on there, my Bailey Sarian, and my Full Coverage podcast, and they make it so convenient within one single app, and you can listen to anywhere from on the go to where you're at home, when you're on the train, when you're on the plane, all that good stuff. As I've opened up to you guys before about my tinnitus, just in case you guys don't know about tinnitus, it's a constant ringing of the ear. I always need some type of background noise, and Audible has such an incredible selection of sleep time playlists. This is something that my Nana has told me before to like listen listen to but I never really did it so I've always had TV playing in the background and let me tell you guys having the TV play in the background I've had like the most crazy dreams but actually going to audible and listening to their sleep time selection oh my gosh I wake up feeling so positive and just so happy because I listen to it literally all throughout the night on repeat I put on my little playlist and I keep it going and I'm like oh my gosh I wake up hearing all these like positive affirmations in my sleep so therefore I wake up with a positive mindset as an audible member you get access to their full catalog and you can listen to as many audiobooks audible originals or podcasts as many times as you'd like and on top of that too you do get one credit per month to download any title of your choosing to keep forever and that does include new releases and bestsellers new members can try audible for free for 30 days all you have to do is text skeleton to 500 500 or head on over to audible.com skeleton a huge thank you to audible for sponsoring this video now let's go ahead and get back into it also before we get into testing out these products make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up if you guys like this style of video i really do miss doing reviews on my channel honestly and i'm like oh i just want to try a new product so i feel like if you guys like this I will do it more also make sure you guys click the link down below head over to my second channel that's my travel channel with my brother we upload new videos there every single Sunday so make sure you guys go give a follow over there let me shut up this is gonna be a very 
lengthy video because I'm going to be reading all the details about these products. So let me shut up and let's go ahead and get into it. For primer today, I'm just using the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Spray. That's just pretty much it. You guys know recently I have been into the e.l.f. What's it called? I was going to call Hydro Grip. <laughs> the e.l.f. Gripping Primer. I'm absolutely obsessed with that. However, I'm kind of like, you know what? I don't know how these products work. So let me just try it with this first because I know with this, every product looks good on. So the first thing that I want to go ahead and talk about is going to be the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Liquid Foundation. Now, I did hear people talking about this online, talking about, oh, if it does have shimmer, it does not have shimmer. I have heard a lot of people say that it does not have shimmer. And let me tell you guys straight up, it does have shimmer. That's going to be a little bit of a problem for me. As you guys know that recently I bought the Charlotte Tilbury concealer. I was super excited to try that, but it just has such a massive amount of shimmer inside it that I was just like, no. So I'm really hoping that this is not too much because if it does have a lot of shimmer, then I'm just going to be turned off from it. I just feel like, I don't know, like when you're in the light and stuff like that, like during the daytime, it just looks all like, I don't know, like glittery, you know, you end up looking like Edward Cullen and I don't know how I feel about that. Anyways, this retails for $42. I am in the shade eight and let me go ahead and read to you guys about the uh, section right here. So it does have underneath the highlights. It's a natural finish, hydrating, medium coverage, liquid, for liquid formula and long wearing. And this is what it says right here. A breathable luminous foundation that effortlessly, effortlessly builds and blends to illuminate the complexion with customizable long wearing coverage. So highlighted ingredients, it has grapeseed oil. It has, um, Vegetal squalene provide restoring moisturizing benefits and then all, uh, does have perfecting powders as well Which works with skin's natural texture for a smooth and enhanced Finish so I'm gonna be trying this out on my right side only because uh, my right side is more red And I feel like this is gonna have more coverage than the healthy glow So let me go ahead and zoom you guys in and let's try this out. This is what the packaging looks like right here I do have to say looking at the swatches. Honestly, I was very very impressed with the undertones of this like I feel like his neutrals are actually neutral i will say i feel like a lot of other brands that they say that they're neutral and then it'll pull a little bit too cool or a little bit too warm this is pretty neutral so i was super excited about this so i'm just going to take a little bit on my um sponge right here this is the uh, juno and co i'm going to take just a little bit at first honestly i'm not going to be going for like full coverage because y'all know like these days it's so crazy i was like just talking to my homegirl about this back in the day we used to like the most full coverage foundation like i'm talking about y'all we would literally wear studio fix liquid foundation with studio fix powder on top of it and now we're just like oh we like a little medium coverage now that we're getting older um so anyways let's go ahead and put this on right here on this side i am going to be trying the um hourglass concealer on the other side i'll stick with both two faced products so let's see how this looks Okay, so this is probably about a quarter of a pump, literally just a tiny little bit. I am going to build it up just a little bit more to see if it will cover my redness, but I don't want to put too much, like I said, because I'm not going for a full coverage type of look, especially because I have things to do today. If I was just going to be at home all day, then I would probably just cake it on. That way you guys can see the coverage. But I'm like, you know what? Let me keep it looking natural. So let's see how this builds. So this is how it built up right here. I do want to say I feel like it built up really pretty. I think it looks very, very nice. Some of my redness is still showing through, but I'm totally okay with that. And maybe I'll put a little bit of concealer on top of that. But if I wanted to go for a full coverage, I actually think you can get a full coverage from this. But this right here is perfect to me. Um, anyways, now before I get into the concealer, I actually want to go ahead and do this side of my face. So this right here is the uh, Too Faced Healthy Glow SPF 30. So this is what it says on the side of the box that it's infused with coconut water, alpine rose, and hyaluronic acid. And then it says that it is 24 hour wear. It's vegan all day hydration i thought this right here would actually be a perfect product for the summer that's why i was like let me pick this up being that it does have an spf of 30 if you guys are familiar with a uh, max face and body that's literally what this looks like right here so you do get uh, is it one ounce you know what why does it not say oh it's on the back oh you get two ounces in this you know what's so funny i was just gonna say i feel like this is so small and it literally says two ounces on here also it does say to shake well it's a very very liquidy formula um i'm gonna go ahead and try this out with my rihanna Fenty sponge. Um, so let's go ahead and see how this is. Um, I'm hoping that these shades are similar, y'all, because ooh, it's so hard. With, ooh, ooh, kind of a lot came out right there. So I guess we're definitely, look how much came out. We're definitely going to test the um, coverage on this right here. Let's see. Oh, yep. I put way more on there than I had intended, but you know what? It's okay. We're testing the coverage, I guess. Oh, okay. The shade looks kind of similar. 
you know what's so crazy is this sponge used to be my favorite sponge but for some reason i'm just obsessed with that juno and co i just feel like it like packs the product into your pores like on my nose i noticed the hugest difference with the fenty sponge i don't feel like it packs it into my pores very well um and i feel like with the juno and co i'm like oh like maybe because it's like microfiber it like packs it in and it just fills up your skin really really nice to look like very smooth you know Okay, so this is what the Too Faced looks like. So just for a reminder, left side is going to be Too Faced, right side is going to be Makeup by Mario and Hourglass. Um, but this is the finish right here. I think that this is a really pretty soft matte finish. As you guys can see, this one, which has been setting in more, you would think it would like mattify a little bit more, but it's definitely a luminous feel. This one right here does have a little bit more of, I would say kind of like a soft matte type of look. I wanna say the coverage to me on this is actually really pretty. I like this. I feel like this is perfect for every day. I am going to try to build it up just a little bit more so that way we can see how it's buildable because it does say that it is buildable and then on top of that too i feel like this has a little bit more coverage so i'm like you know what let me try to even it out so i'm not looking different Okay, so this is what both of the foundations are looking like right here. I don't feel like they're like too off in color. So as soon as I set and put on a little bit of bronzer, I feel like it'll balance out just fine. As you guys can see right here, this one is just so much more dewy. This one's a little bit more matte. I do have to say though, this definitely says that it is a tint, but I definitely do think that you can get like good coverage out of this. And actually, I'm really liking the finish on this. I feel like this looks really beautiful. To be honest, as of right now, I actually like it more than the eavesdrop. As you guys know, I... I love this product right here. I literally wear it like all the time, but I'm like, I may have a replacement because I'm like this right here. I feel like it looks beautiful on my skin. Um, So since we're talking about the Too Faced side right here, I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Pecan um, for my concealer. Now, okay, I know this is sound a little bit weird. I like to get my concealer just a little bit darker, like a little, little smidge. So I was trying to get something a little bit darker than what my skin is because my darkness underneath my eyes and then normally I balance it out with my foundation or I'll put powder on top of it. So I'm like, you know what? Hopefully this is a little bit darker because, oh my gosh, me and trying to find products is just, oof. So I'm just take a little bit of this right here. Okay, yeah, no, this is actually lighter. JK, I'm telling y'all, I got confused too at the store because I was swatching so many different products and I was like getting all mixed up. Before I blend this in, I forgot to read to you guys the side of the box too. This is a 24-hour wear. It's waterproof, sweat and humidity resistant, and non-creasing, and delivers immediate all-day moisture. This does have coconut water, alpine rose, and hyaluronic acid in it, so same as this. It kind of feel, I feel like these go hand in hand. I honestly don't even know if this concealer just came out. I didn't see it before, so I was like, oh, is it new? Um, anyways, let me go ahead and blend this in. Okay, so this is the concealer all blended in right here. I do have to say, I love the coverage on it. As you guys know, I don't like too full of a coverage. I just feel like it gets heavy. And on top of that too, I feel like personally on me, the more full coverage I have underneath my eye, I feel like it emphasizes my texture more and I like hate the texture underneath my eye. So this right here, so far it's looking beautiful. I just wanna see, it does say non-creasing, but y'all know every single time I say something that says non-creasing, it's just not true. I feel like everything is going to crease. Well, you know what I will say though, like what holds up pretty well is is the um oh my gosh the oh, why do i always want to call it shart <laughs> the shart oh my god no tart shape tape jesus christ i can literally never get that right so now i want to go ahead and talk about the um hourglass concealer right here okay Honestly, this was not on my radar at all, but then I was like, you know what? I heard people talking about it. I heard an employee talking about it. He said it's his favorite concealer. And on top of that too, I've heard people talk about this concealer online all the time, but I've always just been too cheap to get it. So I was like, you know what? Now with the 20% off, let me just go ahead and get it. So this retails for $36, which I understand it doesn't seem like that much, like too high of a price, you know what I mean? But I'm just kind of like for a concealer, it's a little bit pricey. Like, let's keep it real. So this is what it says right here on the Sephora website. It says a full coverage, weightless and waterproof concealer with microspheres powders that blur blurs and brightens for up to 16 hours of skin perfection so wait you know what i just realized right now that i did not tell you guys the price of the Too Faced concealer so let's go ahead and look on the app and let's see how much this is um right here 26 dollars. so it's a 10 dollar difference so this side once again makeup by mario th this side right here is the Too Faced. i'm all let me keep on reminding y'all oh 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 my gosh a lot came out on the tube here oh I'm, I'm all scared that this is going to be like way too full coverage. Let's go ahead and see how this is right here. Okay. Well, immediately right off the bat, this is definitely more coverage, like way more coverage. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be taking once again, the Juno and Co to blend this out. I'm like, oh, I literally did not want to put that much, but 
let's just see how it is. I'm all hopefully. Oh my Jesus Lord. <laughs> I'm gonna let me wipe some off on my hand. That is a lot. <gasps> oh my God. Okay, well, as you guys can see right off the bat, if you are looking for full coverage, you're gonna get it with this concealer. Oh my gosh. You know what? This shade literally on my hand and everything looks not this like like yellow and it looks super yellow. So before I set my face, this is what the concealers and foundations look like. This definitely has way more coverage. I was like, whoa. But up close, I do have to say it actually doesn't look bad. It doesn't look heavy and it doesn't look like it's like a whole lot of makeup, even though it is full coverage. So I'm liking that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set my face off of camera using the um, Veil Translucent Powder all over my face. I'm not going to be like mixing and matching on the powders. And then I'm going to put on bronzer and do my eyebrows. So I'm going to come back and give you guys kind of like my first impressions. And I am going to be doing a wear test on this. I just don't know how how long I'm going to be wearing it for. So I'll come back in just a minute. Okay, so it's currently 512 right now. So this is what the face looks like. Now I do want to say I feel like this, okay, I like this side because it does have a luminosity to it, but it does have that like shimmeriness to it, which I guess maybe some people wouldn't classify it as like a shimmer, but it, like, I don't know how to describe it. If you guys have ever used the Hourglass Veil um, Powder, the one that I'm like obsessed with, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's like very, very, very finely milled shimmer, which gives a luminosity to it. Do you know what I'm saying it's not that the actual product is like super dewy it's like added to it so I will say it does look pretty it doesn't look like over the top like the Charlotte Tilbury concealer I'm like that one it had like straight up like speckles of sparkle and there was just too much but there is definitely a bit of shimmer to this and I do want to say that Mario did post on his um, Instagram somebody asked if it was good for people with oily skin he said it's good for all skin types I do want to say if you have oily skin I don't know how you would like this because like this obviously I don't know if you guys can see on camera but this does look a little bit more dewy this does look a little bit more matte as as far as the concealers, I do want to say I actually like the Too Faced one better than the, um, oh my gosh, what's the name of the other one? Um, Hourglass one. I'm just like, you know what? This just emphasizes all my texture. It's just too much coverage for me. As you guys can see, it definitely does provide more coverage, but I just think at my age, I'm starting to be very like conscious I guess of like my texture do you know what I mean and I feel like this type of coverage just really emphasizes texture and I just don't like that this one does obviously have less coverage but then there's like no texture showing whatsoever so it just kind of like you have to pick and choose which one you would like better also I think I did forget to mention earlier that the um Too Faced the um SPF is $42 as well too so both of the foundations that I'm wearing are $42 so anyways I'm gonna do a little bit of a wear test I do not know how long I'm gonna keep this on it honestly could be two hours it could be six I really don't know um so I'll be doing a check in and letting you guys know how it's wearing throughout the day as of right now i really like both foundations like a lot and i don't really like the concealer the hourglass concealer is so far kind of eh, you know what i mean but i do like the two-faced ones so for yeah for for yeah <laughs> so yeah as of right now all of the products i'm actually kind of liking besides the hourglass so let me shut up and let me go ahead and run my errands and then i will let you guys know how these products are wearing Okay, so it's actually only two hours later, so I'm not going to be keeping this on very long. Well, I mean, I am. However, I'm actually going to end up going out. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and close this out because I feel like later I might be irresponsible and not remember to close it out. So let me just go ahead and tell you guys what I think so far, kind of like my first impressions. If there's anything to add to this video, I will add to the end of it, whether it be a voiceover or just a text. I don't know. I'll add on it. But I want to go ahead and tell you guys about the concealers first things first, okay? Now, you guys know that my favorite concealer is the KVD Good Apple Concealer. Absolutely love that i feel like that does not crease on me obviously with everybody it is different um i want to say both of these already after two hours are creasing so the fact that this one right here does say that it is crease proof i'm like yeah no that's a lie it's literally only been two hours and i have not done anything in any type of heat or anything like the way it's only 70 degrees right now so it's really not even warm so i like the coverage of this i like the way it looks i feel like it does look smooth underneath my eyes and it does look hydrated but the creasing part to me is just a no i feel like i'm still gonna roll with my kvd good apple that's still number one this concealer right here here. I want to say that the coverage is good on it. However, I just personally don't need that much coverage. So I feel like this to me is just too much. And this one right here, to be quite honest with you, if I had to pick out of one of these two, I would choose this one right here. This is just too much to me. It definitely emphasized my texture. As soon as I set it with the hourglass um, veil powder, which by the way, I feel like that really does a good job at blurring my texture. This right here just was showing so much texture. So I was like, you know what? I actually don't like that. And it's crazy because so many people love that concealer, but not me. I did not like it. Let's go ahead and talk about 
about the foundation. I actually love them both. I feel like they both look really, really good. This one right here, which is the Too Faced, I feel like it is, um, it's matte, you know? So I, I, I want to say, like, I wish I could, like, mix. Well, maybe I will mix these in the future and actually try it together like that. Because I was going to say, like, this one's just a little bit too matte for me. And this one's just a little bit too luminous for me. So I'm like, I really do like them both. But I feel like it depends upon the occasion. Like, say, for example, if I'm going to be out all day, I think I would trust this more. Because this is definitely a little bit more matte. However, the little glow, the little sheen to this, it does make my skin look like skin. With that being said, though, I personally do not think that this will be good for people with oily skin. As you guys know, I'm only oily in my T-zone. The rest of my face is pretty much normal. So um, I just, the only thing about this is I'm like, oh, I really love the coverage. I love the finish. Like, honestly, my skin looks blurred. It looks really, really good. I just don't like that little bit of shimmerness. Do you know what I'm saying? That to me, I'm just like, Ugh. I feel like during the nighttime, I love it. But say, for example, if I was wearing this out during the day, it's going to be clockable that I have something on my skin because of the reflection, because of the sheen, because of the shine. You know what I'm saying? Overall, though, I do want to say I, I think that both of these foundations are really, really good. I would give this one a solid, let me say, an 8 out of 10. You know what? I'll give them both 8 out of 10. I really do like them both. I think that they are really good. I just wish that the shimmer was toned down on this. It's a beautiful finish. This right here, I actually think could be good for people with dry skin as well as oily skin because it's not too overly matte. And on top of that, too, I feel like it's, I don't know, it's looking pretty good. Another thing I wanted to say, though, about the Mario is right here on my nose, it is creasing up in my nose, like, really, really bad as to where the Too Faced is not. And I'm assuming, obviously, because the Mario is a little bit more luminous, a little bit more dewy versus the um, Too Faced is a little bit more matte. So overall, um, yeah, I really love the foundations, the concealers, honestly... I feel I feel bad saying this, but I'm like, I'll probably take them back, but they're not bad. They're just, they're not better than my KVD Good Apple. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I'm still going to roll with that. I do want to say I like the Too Faced one, but I'm like, ugh, the fact that it creases kind of bothers me and KVD just does not crease on me. So, well, it does crease on me, but honestly, I would say probably after like six hours, maybe seven hours, it takes a long time for it to crease on me. This being only two hours, I'm like, ooh. Anyways, that is it for this video. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you guys like reveal, reveal, review style videos. I would really appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout.